was in the old census done in 1890 by the Americans, and it just each of these columns, in fact, stores one character, either an alphabetic character, A, B, C, or a number. And you can set up on this one column at a time to sort them out into order. What sort of job could it do? Well, for example, if this was a census card and uh, column 15, um, the age of the child was put, punched in between 0 and 9, I don't suppose they put many in 0, we put, we set this up to the appropriate column, we put the cards in, we press the button, and here we have on pocket 9 all the children who are now years old with all the details, the names and addresses. And the real secret is you could take all these cards again, take them out, and then reuse them again for another analysis you wanted to do. So it's hardly surprising that this machine has been superseded because I suppose what you really want is the information contained in the holes in the cardboard rather than having to shuffle all the bits of cardboard around. And that's where computers come in, I bet. Well, that's exactly right. And if you look at the way it's stored on a card, we just snip off a column of information here. And you can see quite clearly the problem. There is one character. And that's the equivalent. And in fact, you don't, it, it, the computer doesn't just see if one space has got a hole or no hole in it. It's checking for all of them. And there are many permutations, aren't there? Or, or, well, all possible combinations. In, in, in eight bits, it's, now, it's called a byte, by eight, a byte. And yes. in those eight, there are 256 possible combinations. And that would, they would be used to represent, for example, uh, all the alphabetics, uh, upper and lower case, uh, numbers not to nine, all the special symbols, plus, minus, left bracket, and so on and so forth. And that's all stored in the famous revolution, the microchip, isn't it? And it's, it, it's all done in a very, very small space. What is that? What's the process inside there? Well, I like to think of it as a sort of series of pots. And some are full of electricity, and if you like, they're in eight. And some are full of electricity, some are empty. And you can read out and detect out of those eight which is full and which are empty. And from that you know what the combination is and what character it represents to the computer.